We are so delighted to welcome you to the Rock Church. Thank you for rocking yes, with us. Yes, Happy yes. Mother's Day Happy to all Mother's the mothers. Day. Yeah. Listen, yes. at the Rock Church, we always strive to be innovative. We try to flip the script. Normally, women take over on Mother's Day, but we were like, wait, shouldn't this be their day off? So we did something different. Men took over to celebrate and honor women. I want you to sit back, tag as many people as you can, click like, click share, let people know that the Rock Church is on the air as we celebrate women. Tag the women you love so we can honor them today. Mm -hmm. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Once again, we want to say emphatically, Happy Mother's Day. Yes. Yes. Every, yes. every, every woman, every mother, we, we honor you, we celebrate you. At the Rock Church, we strive intentionally to be innovative yeah. mm -hmm. so we can make an impact. Yes. You know if you grew up in church, Mother's Day was when a woman would speak. And it dawned on me, why don't we flip the script? Why don't we give women the day off on Mother's Day, right. <laughs> since it is Mother's Day? Yeah. And why don't we own it and pay homage and celebrate mm -hmm. women? In particular, our culture now has a gender divide where we seek one to annul gender altogether. Mm -hmm. That's a whole other Bible study. Right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> or really. we want to polarize genders and cause men to compete against women yep. and recognize that competition was never God's intention. Never. Right. It was right. God's intention for men and women to complement yep. one yes. another. Yep. How is this first Samuel chapter one is this powerful, prophetic, praying woman named Hannah. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Women, do yourselves a favor. Men, do yourselves a favor and go read 1 Samuel chapter 1. Yeah. Notice that before she's a mother, before she's a wife, mm -hmm. she's a woman first. Mm -hmm. I'd argue that Oftentimes, we respect women for the roles that they play, but don't recognize that they're women before they're a role. Yep. Yeah. Right. yeah. yeah. Before yeah. she's a wife, before she's a mother, yep. she's simply hand. Yep. yep. Yes. Women at large fight gender oppression, but black women in particular, wow. they deal with something that a, a, a beautiful woman scholar says is triple oppression. Mm. Claudia wow. Jordan. Wow. She says it's triple oppression. Yeah. That mm. black women, they faced oppression based upon race, class, and gender. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Imagine that, yeah. walking into a situation and you have three things against you, yeah. perceivably, going into the situation. I believe that there are class barriers that God has assigned women in this season to break. Mm. I believe that positions of power that were typically held by men yep. are now being held by women. Yeah, yeah, I'd yeah. argue, furthermore, that black women in particular are one of the most valuable resources that we have on the earth. Yes. Yes. If yes. you want yes. your business to succeed, yes. get it endorsed by a black yes. woman. Yes. Yes. If you yes. want your family to succeed, get it endorsed by a black woman. As a matter of fact, if my memory serves me correctly, our vice president is a... Black it's a black woman in the person of Vice President Kamala Harris, away with the antiquated notion that assumes that women can't do something based upon their race, their class, or gender. The devil is a liar. Yes, Enough is. of men and women doing the same job and men being paid more than women based upon gender. The devil is yep. a liar. Even in church, anybody ever go to the church where they had the women preach at the at the mini pulpit? Yeah, yeah. The oh, devil yeah. is a liar. Yeah. Women yeah. have a mega word and you're gonna put them at the mini pulpit. The devil is a liar. Right. What I love yes. about the Rock Church is that it's a church where we esteem, where we honor, where we uplift, yeah. where we yes. celebrate, yeah. where right. we recognize women. As a matter yes. of fact, everybody who's watching, I need you to tag a woman who's influenced yeah. you. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. need you to tag yeah. a woman who's been a right. game changer, who's been instrumental in you becoming the person that you are. To every woman who's watching, happy Mother's Day. Yes. Happy, happy Mother's, Mother's Day. Day. Yes. Women bring a power, a presence, and a fragrance into each and every environment that they enter. Of course. Like, literally, yep. when women walk into a room, the room is never the same. Yep. I want you all to do me a favor. Speak to the power and presence that a woman brings, women at large, but mothers in particular, speak to that for me. Yeah. Um, a long time ago, I heard a quote, and it said, nothing can be created without a woman in the Absolutely. room. Absolutely. Right? And when I heard it, I was like, wow. And I, and I had to think about really what that means, right? If something is created, mm -hmm. 
It's because women have created it, mm. right? They create the most precious thing in the world. They create children, yeah. right? I mean, we do a little something, but they create. They're the ones yeah. who like hold the woman. They have their, they hold that womb. Mm. So if you want to create a business, if you want to create, mm. um, a, if you want to make a company big, if you want to create a family, you need to start with a woman, yeah. right? That's how powerful mm. a woman is. Mm. I love it. Yeah. And God created women, you know, yeah. to be helpmates to, uh, as far as the husband, or just be helpmates, period, across the board. As far as, you know, they, they help you, you know what I'm saying, to be, be either a better man or just be a better person. Mm. Because they just have the comfort of uh, having uh, the softness, and then they also have to be able to protect the role, you know, in that as well. So it's, that's the power of, of the mm. presence of the woman. Yeah. I just feel like uh, without a woman, we nothing, you know. The power of a woman to me is everything in life itself, waking up in the morning times and everything with, with the kids, you know, with, with school, with work, with mm. everything. Nobody is nothing without a woman, and mm. it goes yeah. real far. Yeah. I, I can agree with that because my wife, Corinne Foster, is an outstanding lady. Mm. Mm. When we first got married, she took care of me, she had our children, and her presence yeah. in mm -hmm. a room mm. just changed everything. Yeah. <laughs> yes. if, if it was loud and noisy going on in there, when she stepped in, it became calm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All eyes on her because she's beautiful. Mm. And it's, mom, may I this, mom, may I that. And I'm getting the chill talking about it, so <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna let okay. that go. Wow. Absolutely, oh, yes. I want y'all to take a moment and try to imagine the Rock Church with none of the women there. Oh, wow! Can't imagine. Can't do it. Nah. Can't do it. <laughs> like <laughs> no. the, the brilliance, <laughs> the wisdom, <laughs> the sensitivity, the excellence. Mm. It is emblematic of the women who are a part of our Rock Church yeah. family. Let's wow. celebrate the women. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> When you look at Hannah, you'll recognize that she's in a patriarchal society. Mm -hmm. where women are revered for their ability to maintain their home, to please their husband, and to produce children. Yeah. This antiquated caste system that devalues women. That's where we find Hannah. Right. As if this pressure isn't enough, there's also this pressure because at the time, polygamy was accepted. Mm -hmm. Like, don't none of y'all go trying that yeah. now. You understand right, what I right, mean? No, um, no. no. One, no. <laughs> one man, one woman. Uh, that's God's original intention. <laughs> but polygamy was, 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 was accepted at the time, and there were two wives. Mm -hmm. So you have Elkanah, and yep. he's married to Hannah and Penina. Yep. Yeah. And instead of Penina and Hannah recognizing that they don't compete, but they can complement, mm -hmm. there start to be this yep. tension yes. right. between yes. the two. Uh -huh where Penina's throwing shade like, hey, you know, I can have children yeah. and you can't. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. it put right. this pressure on top of Hannah. Let's take a moment and acknowledge the pressure that women contend with, wow. or mothers in particular. What kind of pressure do you witness that mothers have to experience? Yeah. I would say in the workplace, you know, in the workplace, the pressure that I'm gonna refer to black mother, black women, mothers. Uh, they got a lot of pressure in the workplace, especially like in the tech world. You know, mm. uh, black women are on a lower scale to them, not to us, to them, and it, and it's hard the pressure to prove that they're on the same level yes. as a man or anybody in the workplace besides a black woman. It, it's a hard thing. Yeah, so good. Yeah, I think the pressure isn't just like at work. I think work is a big part. But women have pressure everywhere they go. Yes. Yeah. Even when they're at home with us. Mm. Right. Yeah. Like, what are right. we creating to have that pressure at home, right? And then you understand, like, uh, the woman is working all day. They yeah. get off work. Yep. And what's the next thing? They need they cook food for the family. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Or they don't yeah. have to, but this is what this is what society thinks. They cook right. for the family. While the kids are screaming, Mommy, I need you to do this, mommy, I need you to do that. And we're like, hey, we need you to do this too for us. Right? And they got all this stuff, and then cleanup happens. They're cleaning up. There's pressure everywhere, but then that doesn't stop the demand of their job. Yes. It doesn't yeah. stop yeah. the demand. Doesn't demand of the, it doesn't, just because she's cooking, the kids don't understand that. They want, I want my food, but I need yeah. you also, mommy, yeah. to yeah. play with yeah. me. Like, yeah. let's play dress up. You know, so there's always so much pressure in a woman every, where, where they go. And I think sometimes, us as men, we don't even realize that. 
Because yeah. we continue to put pressure on. Of course. And understanding that, like, this is too much. But we don't even, we're just like, we still need this. Because at that time, we get selfish to think of our own priorities. Mm -hmm. you know? As a kid, I didn't, it, it never dawned on me that my mom was more than my mom. Yeah. Like, all yeah. I thought she did yeah. was her job was to be my mom. Yeah. I didn't know she had to be his wife. Yeah. I didn't know that after she dropped me off at the bus stop that she went and became a corporate yep. woman. Like literally, there's levels of pressure that accompany every situation. Yeah, right. What do you think women contend with pressure-wise? Just for uh, single women, it's, wow. I mean, to touch that, it's, it's, uh, they have really pressure uh, as far as trying to raise yes. Yes. Yeah. Single, yeah. single moms trying to raise men yep. as far as mm. us, you know, just as far as my single mom, you know, uh, my mom has single moms as far as her trying to raise me. So she had to put on so many different hats mm. to be able to, uh, to wow. be able to contend, even though she's not a man, but she had to put on that man hat to be able yeah. to try to raise me, to so try to good. save me to some extent. So good. Because, you know, women, it can't be a man, but they only can give you so much, but she did what she could. Yeah. And that's yes. the pressure of yeah. trying to raise men and it would not just men, men as far as kids itself. Just, mm -hmm. just all the whole, the whole thing as far as just basically raising a family without, a, without a male presence. It's just wow. basically the woman has to put on so many hats. Yeah. It's crazy. If your mom is watching, I want to pause and acknowledge that a single mother produced somebody like you. Mm. 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 Like you're a man of character. You're a man of integrity. The way you serve your church, the way you love God, the way you love your wife, the way you love your daughter is proof that when God is on your side, you can win with the hand that you've been dealt, mm, even if it yes. isn't the hand that you desire. Right. And wow. we honor your mom, wow, Deacon yes. Wayland. You are a game changer, man. You. That means wow, your, yes. mom, your mom got some oil on yeah. top of her. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Deep roots it. in that church, you guys. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I want to acknowledge what I saw my wife deal with as it pertained to pressure amidst the pandemic. Like literally wow. in one day, I will watch my wife go out and exercise because she wants to be healthy. I would then watch her turn around and become the ultimate mother mm -hmm. and spend time with our children <laughs> and give them what they needed, mm -hmm. give my daughter what she needed as a daughter, yeah. give my mm -hmm. son what he needed as a son. Yep. Mm -hmm. Then yes. I watch her turn into a wife and minister to me and then I would watch her become first lady and get on the phone and pray wow. and walk someone through a situation. Wow. Then I would mm -hmm. watch her uh, go back to being a professional mm -hmm. and say, I'm going to be in the corporate environment and I'm going to flourish in all of the roles that I play. Wow. Like before wow. I met my wife, I thought Wonder Woman was special. <laughs> but now I know that Wonder Woman is actually a real person yep. yes. embodied by my wife. So there's this... <laughs> I'm telling you, you got to read 1 Samuel 1. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's this moment where Elkanah low-key puts his foot in his mouth. Mm -hmm. Like, like mm -hmm. me and you, you've never done that, but I have. <laughs> um, yeah. Like, there's an Elkanah moment in 1 Samuel chapter 1, verse 8, where uh, Hannah is crying, and, and Elkanah pulls up. He's like, girl, man, what you crying for? Mm -hmm. You crying mm -hmm. over there right, having wow. no kids? Wow. Right, yeah. like, Man, you got me. <laughs> yeah, for sure. What you tripping off of? Ain't I better than you than a bunch of kids? Mm -hmm. I want you, full transparency, to speak to a time when you had an elk in the moment where you tried to solve it and she literally didn't need you to solve it. She just needed you to sit with it. Wow. Like, speak to that. Anybody ever had that scenario, Ryan? Um, I don't even think it's like anybody ever had it. As how many times I have it a week, <laughs> right? Like, or days. Mm. I mean, because I, I feel like it's, I stay almost in that moment. Because <laughs> I think men, I think we were created, or in our mind, we were created to be fixers. Mm. Like, mm -hmm. when a situation happens, our job is like, I gotta fix it. I don't wanna hurt no more. Mm. Let me fix situations. Right? Mm. But mm -hmm. sometimes it was so crazy. My wife told me before, she said, it's not about you fixing things. Sometimes I just want you to be there. Yeah. Just hear from me. Let me feel yeah. and just be there to listen. And I'm always like, no, no, it's got to be solved. Because mm -hmm. we, I look at things as every situation, there's, a, there's a, something to solve. Yes. Like in every situation, there's, the, there's a problem, and you have to solve the problem. Mm -hmm. And if you have the problem, as a husband, i got to protect you. i got to solve right. every problem. Right. And wow. I realized that that's not what she wants. Yeah. <laughs> All yeah. she needs to really be, be there is just sit there yeah. with her. That's mm -hmm. good. And be there. And to understand that when I struggle, if she cries, I cry with her. Yeah. I hold with her. Like yes. I do the things that she needs. Not the things that I feel like she needs, the things that's that she good. really needs. That's you know? good. That's good. Wow. That's, that's good. Dream. Brother Jareem, I, I think you're right on that one. Uh, most men 
come as fixers. You know, we always think that we can fix every problem for the woman in our life, and and most of the problems they they have them fixed already. Yeah. They had an answer to that to problem already, but we always think that we can come fix it. And for the most part, I believe that they just want us there. You know, um, you know, for the support and and. and and the best support is just being there for yeah. them and, and not trying to fix the problem and, you know, wrapping our hands around, you know, just being there for them as the fixer still in our head, but, you know, what they need. And, and that's what it is. To yeah. Me. yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, like you thought, mm -hmm. we're supposed to fix everything. <laughs> mm -hmm. That was my objective in getting married, mm -hmm. was mm -hmm. to help fix things yeah. for my wife. Yeah. Mm. Wow. The car is low on gas, I can go fix it. Yes, mm -hmm. that's good. The children need a ride to school, I can fix it. Yep. Yes. But then when she has conversation with me, mm -hmm. I'm thinking, okay, now how do I fix it? In my mind. <laughs> <laughs> and she had to teach me, mm -hmm. mm. babe, I didn't want you to fix it. Mm. I just wanted you to hear me out on it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. And it takes a long time to stop being a fixer yeah. yes. and learning how to be a listener. Yeah. Yeah. Dad, I want to ask you a question. When did you figure that out? Because for me, I'm still trying to figure it out. It's, it's been eight, nine years. I'm like, you need this. So when did you learn how to do it? Because I want to know when I'm supposed to learn. Right. Well, well, I learned it. Oh, we've been married 40-some years. I probably got it. Yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This See, is not encouraging. <laughs> <laughs> you, you got 31 more years. <laughs> like, no, it's it's no, wow, no. Time. Yes. Be because I, I, no. it's hard to get out of that fix it role. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And this is better than DNA. when she pauses uh, and looks at me, I know it's not a fix it not, moment. Yeah. 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 So let me, I just want to apologize now to my wife. Because you still got 31 years of me not. <laughs> so let me just apologize and say sorry now. Because I'm going to mess up a lot. It, 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 it reminds me of when our son was born. Mm. I was preaching in Iowa. And my wife sent me a text. He's not due for it like another. I'm like, this is my last preaching. Mm -hmm. We good. She's like, um, I think you should get here. Water broke. And I'm like. I'm in Iowa. No! Oh, and, and, wow. and, 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 and I think the lesson is she didn't want me to get there to be the doctor. Mm. She wanted me she to did. get there to be present wow. in the yeah. delivery room. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. it wasn't about me solving it per se. Yeah. It was about me sitting with her and being there as she was going through mm. the situation yeah. to deliver mm -hmm. what was inside yeah. of her. That's good. I didn't get it wrong this time. Wow. Right. I noticed that my wife was pregnant with something. Mm. This time, I, it was spiritual. I noticed she was wow. pregnant with something. I noticed that in her mind, it was ruminating that uh, I've been at this stagnant place in my career, and I believe that there's a manager level inside of me. Mm. In that moment, it was my responsibility to become her spiritual sonogram. And say, wait, no, there's something inside of you. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So you don't need me to fix it. All you need me to do is to be a midwife and help you give birth to wow. it. So That's what I good, said man. is that now it's my turn. You helped me birth the rock, which was my dream. Mm -hmm. Now it's my turn to switch places mm -hmm. and help birth this next mm -hmm. level inside wow. of your career. Yeah. And I believe that was one of the ones where we were able to push out something. Like men, I believe in this season it's incumbent upon us mm, yeah. to put our hand on the womb of our spouse and say, what's inside of you? Wow. Mm. What dream inside wow, of yeah. you that I'm supposed to help you deliver? Yeah. What gift is inside of you that I'm supposed wow. to help you birth out? Mm. That you get all the shine, you get all the credit. Right. My wife preached last week in San Jose, yeah. and I told her, I'm your armor bearer. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I'm your cheerleader. Yeah. Yeah. I don't yeah. want to be acknowledged. You acknowledge me 52 weeks out of the year. This week is sure. all yeah. about yeah. you. Yeah. I said, you be a mm. diva. You get to need anything you want. I'll bring your boss water. Whatever you need, it's all about wow. you. Yeah. I believe the game will change when we have that mentality of, right, right. I'm just going to sit with you through it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Bible says in 1 Samuel chapter 1, around verses 9 and 10, that there was a moment when she's under pressure, but she prays. Mm. Like she has a whole right. lot going around, but she prays. 
praise. Yep. Never underestimate well, I mean, the power of a praying woman. Man. Yeah. 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 I honestly, don't yeah. get it twisted. I'm here because of the power of praying women. Yeah. Yes. My yes. grandmother prayed for our entire family. Subsequently, my parents get saved. We get saved. Right. Never yeah. underestimate the power Never. of yeah. a praying yeah. woman. Right. Yeah. Right. My mom prayed for me in the morning, rubbed oil. That's old school. Y'all don't know old nothing school. about that. Y'all don't know <laughs> nothing <laughs> about that. All you be in first up. period at home. Oh, like, what's on your phone? Yeah. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, start getting in your eyes. Uh, my, my mom prayed for me and preserved me mm -hmm. in the morning. Yes. If I go by that office space, I can hear the sound of my wife praying. She's mm -hmm. literally put a spirit of prayer on top of my son. Wow. Yeah. Like literally on the way to school, mm -hmm. my son can intercede and pray. Never underestimate the power mm -hmm. of a praying yes. woman. Deborah prayed. Sarah prayed. Miriam prayed. Mm -hmm. Esther prayed. Yeah. Mary prayed. The Canaanite woman prayed. Talk about the power of a praying woman. Wow. Man. That's something far as the power of a praying woman. As far as my wife, man, she just she's a prayer warrior. You may you may seem like she's a little silent, but man, she gets up in that morning. And she just prayed. And some things she prayed me through, you know what I'm saying, as far mm -hmm. as me trying to take my test, I, you know, uh, as far as uh, electrician. And she just prayed. And then she kept praying. She said, you can do it. And she mm -hmm. always, she yeah. always mm -hmm. was able to just give me that insight and, and, and praise and say, you can do it. And as far as the praying. And then as I took that, last time I took it, the, 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 the calmness that came over me as far as how she was praying wow. and everything else, it came over me to where I took the test with no anxiety, no nothing, mm -hmm. just basically just took it. And I say, all right, it's good. Yeah. So just far as that power of a praying woman goes a long yeah. way. Yeah. Do you yes. go back to your like yeah. you said, as far as your grandmother, as far as all down through the history, woman pray. Yeah. Yeah. If it wasn't a woman praying, well, man, we <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I can't right. not. The day I knew that Janice was supposed to be my wife mm. was when we sat down and prayed together. And uh, I, I mean, I get chills even thinking about it now. Like <laughs> her. I, I just remember, I remember like yesterday, we, were, we started praying, and I said, I prayed first, and you know, I did, you know, a good five-minute prayer, and then she started praying, and I mean, <clears throat> the prayer, I was like, what is going on? She prayed for a good 45 minutes without even taking a breath. I'm like, what are you doing? And every word was piercing, mm -hmm. and I said, all right, God, you didn't tell me who I'm supposed to be with the rest of my life, so now, and, 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 and I, I, I won't lie, now to this day, you know, when we pray at nighttime, when she prays, I'm usually falling asleep halfway through because she's still going 45 minutes to an hour. <laughs> but I know that every word still is piercing the same yes. way it did the first time I met yes. her. And, and that's what I know of prayer. Like, my mom did it first, and now my wife is doing it. Mm. And the way they pray changes everything. Mm. Hmm. Wow. I believe the same thing. Um, mm. Growing up in the house where all I knew was prayer mm -hmm. from my mom and... Um, she prayed a lot in the bad times, you know, single mothers always going through yeah, a lot of yeah. turmoil. Mm -hmm. But uh, she prayed in the good times also. And, you know, a lot of people don't understand that, that prayer in the good time is what gets you through those bad yeah, times. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, she prayed a lot of the good times. And I never understood it until I got older that that prayer is what helped us yep. the whole way through. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's good. I, I, I can say something on that because... My wife prays. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm not talking about I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I can turn over and get ready to hug my wife, and there's nothing there. She has tipped out of the room mm -hmm. and gone into her prayer closet. Mm. And if I'm wondering where she is, I don't even have to get up to mm. find out mm -hmm. because she's calling out to the Lord. Mm. And wow. I mean, mm -hmm. she's sending up some prayers mm -hmm. that are piercing. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking, wow. And when she mentions to me that she prayed for me, mm -hmm. I know she did. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. Baby, mm -hmm. you ain't just making this up. Yeah. yeah. I heard you. Yeah. <laughs> and 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 <laughs> what she does and brings to the house, where he says, what, two or three are gathered together? Mm -hmm. Asking anything? Mm -hmm. Yes. Wow. Mm -hmm. Anything. Yep. I've been, I've been unemployed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And while I was unemployed, I applied for another job. And they said, "Oh yeah, we would hire you, but you need surgery." Mm -hmm. 
Mm. They killed me. Mm -hmm. I'm the provider for my family. Mm -hmm. I can't work. I'm too sick to work. Mm -hmm. But my wife prayed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, Lord. Wow. Mm -hmm. And man, mm -hmm. when God answers prayer, he answers it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. And yes. he answers the prayer. Do you know that this guy got a job? Wow. Stayed on there for years and years and years. Mm. Retired. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Don't tell me prayer don't work. Yes. 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 Yeah. 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 And I want to. I want to thank my wife mm -hmm. for what she did for me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because mm. she's a real prayer warrior. Wow. Wow. Well, wow. That's yes. Man. And the Bible says the same thing that happened for you happened for Hannah. Mm. Mm. This woman who was barren, when she got on her knees and prayed and sought God, the Bible says that God came through. I got a word for every woman who's watching. God is not forgotten. Amen. Yes. God says every prayer that you prayed, I heard it. Every tear that you cried, I bottled wow. it. Every yes. situation Thank that you, you went through, I've seen it. Mm -hmm. I've seen your experience and expect God to come through. Ruth, can we intercede for huh. women right now? Huh. Amen. Amen. We yeah. just talked about how the women covered us, but I think it's our time. Yeah. Father, in the name of Jesus, Jesus. Yes, I, Lord. I come for every woman who's watching right yes, now. Yes, God, yes, they Lord. deal yes. with pressure yes, that Lord. we have no idea of. They deal with stress that we have no idea of. Yes, but Lord. Father, yes, in the Lord. name of Jesus, name I of pray Jesus. that yes. they will break and huh. annihilate every glass ceiling. Yes. Yes. I pray Lord, for every Lord, woman Jesus. who's yes, been Lord. a victim of oppression, yes. every yes, woman who's been a victim of molestation, Every woman who's yes, been with yes. men who didn't have the best intentions yes. for them, I yes, pray, Lord, yes, that you yes, will purify Jesus. their hearts, their mind, their soul, their spirit. God, yes, let Lord. us be responsible for redefining what masculinity and manhood yes, should yes, be. Yes, let yes, us be Lord, the husbands yes, you called us to be. Let us be the yes, men yes, you Lord. caused us to be. Let us be the yes, pastors, Lord. the prophets, yes, the priests of our home. God, yes, let us cover women. God, yes, let Lord. us pray cover for women. P-R-A-Y, and don't let us P-R-E-Y on women. God, they are the apple of your eye. They are bought with the That's price. Right. We Thank cover you, our Jesus. daughters. God, I yes, pray, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, that they will be Jesus. women of God, that yes, they will be Lord. Deborahs, they will be Miriams. Yes, Lord, God, we claim it done. Women at the, the Rock Church Jesus. will experience a liberation Lord, like Lord, never Jesus. before. Yes, we Lord. consider Thank it you, done. Jesus, Birth every God. dream, Jesus. every idea. Yes, yes, Bring yes, it to fruition. Yes, In yes, Jesus' Lord, name we pray. Amen. Will y'all celebrate what God is doing for the women? What's so cold-blooded? We got to get out of here. Y'all got brunch reservations. I know you got brunch in this suit. You got to have brunch reservations in this suit. Um, 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 what's so cold-blooded is that after she gets what she prayed for, mm -hmm. she doesn't get amnesia. Wow. Yeah, wow. yeah. God blesses her with a son, and what she says is, God, don't just bless me for me to mm -hmm. keep it. I'm giving it back to you. Yeah. Back yeah. To yeah. I think yeah. that's the principle. God doesn't just want the blessing to come to you. Mm -hmm. He wants it to come through you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's how can we be a blessing towards someone else? I know we're about to wrap it up, but yeah. man, I need you to talk about. Imagine what this feels like mm -hmm. if you're the husband. Elkanah, the dude who played himself, mm -hmm. like you got me, you don't need nobody else. You watch your wife intercede and God comes through. Wow. Mm -hmm. Imagine how the whole world shifts the moment that child is born. Mm -hmm. wow. oh. Like for me, the moment my wife became a mother, the transition was so seamless. Mm -hmm. It literally was like having this child mm -hmm. that was on the inside, on the outside, mm -hmm. it birthed a new identity inside of her that was already there. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I had never seen the way my wife knows how to mother in every given situation. Mm -hmm. When we were in a situation where they wanted to test our son for ADD at age two or three, we got in together and we start praying. Mm. We start interceding. Mm -hmm. We said, no, something's wrong about that. Mm -hmm. we, said, we said, this is a brilliant child. This is a yeah. miracle working child. My wife advocated for our son. Long story short, he just got an award for linguistics. Mm -hmm. The same one who yeah. they said they didn't think he could read such and such. He's yeah. reading at a level that's beyond his grade level. Yeah, yeah. Don't tell me that there's not power in prayer. The yeah. moment my wife became a mother, it was literally like, Something shifted. I'm mm -hmm. not gonna lie. Anybody remember that first drive home mm -hmm. after you yeah, after yeah, the yeah, yeah. like yeah, when yeah. you're driving like 
Please don't. Yeah. Ten and two is. In the name of Jesus. Yep. Just, Lord, get me home Maybe safely. That. I don't know what I just did. I don't know why this happened, Lord. But if it be your will, I pray that you will help me be the father you want me to be. Yeah. And you're looking at your wife. You good? Oh, yeah. yeah. No, I'm not good, father. <laughs> go back. Go back. Eight, nine years. Go back. 41 years, go back, and I want you all to speak about what that moment was like when you watched your wife become a mother. Yeah. The, uh, the funny thing when you said that, too, I was thinking about the first drive home, you're like this. The second drive home, you're like, oh. Right, 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 right. Now you're comfortable. Um, but I think back, I think, I, I think me and my wife, we think about the negative a little bit, right? So we think about when, when we got married, we were similar to y'all. We got married. Um, two weeks half, later, 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 Janice is pregnant. I'm like, what? And we think about, oh, I wish we had these three years beforehand. So if we would have did that, things would have been changed. We would have been, we would have been able to know each other a little better. Mm -hmm. But I don't think about the other side of it, right? The, when Janice, the whole time we've been married, we've been married now almost nine years, right? She's been pregnant and married, and we've had babies the whole time. Yeah. I don't. The amazing part of her mm. has shined from day one, mm. right? And I, I thought she was amazing and I loved her before. But what she's shown after having a child is even just the love she has for me, right, and the respect she has for me has changed from the, day, from the first day I met her, mm -hmm. right? And it's all because when, you, when, when, a mo when a mother, when a woman becomes a mother, they think differently, mm -hmm. they move differently, they mm -hmm. act differently, right? And that's what she did. And I would see it and I'd say, this, is, this woman is amazing. Mm -hmm. So I don't even know if we would have had that time before it might not be the same Janice that she is now, mm. right? And we, the love we have and the connection we have wouldn't be as prevalent if it wouldn't have been for her being a mom the whole time, yep. right? Yeah. So I just appreciate her for that. I love it. Wow. 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 Well, I tell you, on, on, on ours, um, I wasn't out of town. Mm. <laughs> when my wife was up around 4 or 5 in the morning, she said, it's time. You should have seen me. Let's go. Hurry up. Got in the car, went to the hospital, and those people were moving too slow. Mm. The nurse was just walking by, and I said, oh, what, about, what about the doctor? Yeah. And, and finally, we went up. She's in there, and she's going through labor, and I'm rubbing her head, and even during the delivery, she said, you're rubbing all the curls out of my hair. <laughs> <laughs> but, but that day, we drove home, boy. <laughs> hey! <laughs> babe, babe, you're good. Babe, it's all right. Can we slack the seat back? And we made it home. Now it's different, man. My wife is amazing. Mm. Amazing. I told you, when she walks into a room, she changes the whole atmosphere yeah. over there. I'm, I'm blessed, dude. Mm. I'm telling you. Mm. Yes, yes. As far as that, was, that was a good one. As far as a good one. As far as my wife, when we had our son, we had a little negativity going because uh, when we had, she, we had to have rushing into a C-section because uh, my, my, my boy, he was a long time coming. It's mm -hmm. my hours. <laughs> but the reason why he asked my hours, his, his biblical cord is wrapped around his neck three times mm -hmm. when they pulled him out. So we kind of had a, a pause to be, be up to get him to you know breathe a little bit. Once we heard that scream, I, my eyes lit up to where I was able to re reframe back to my wife and say, oh, she gave my boy. Mm -hmm. Not just that she gave my boy, but far as just to know that far as her maturity and how she reacted and how she became that, that, that uh, natural mother, it, it was awesome. And it just truly just touched my heart, warmed my heart to be able to say, yeah, I know that's the one, and it's going to be the one I'm mm. going to be with for the rest of my life. Yeah, 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 mm. yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. I, I hear you, bro. <laughs> I just believe that God knew what he was doing. Yeah. You two are proof that single mothers can produce incredible children. Yeah. But I also like the fact that you all paid homage to the fact that it is harder. I can't imagine. Can you imagine Josiah and Joel with just you? No, with I me. With me. No, I definitely not with you. <laughs> I, 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 I recognize. 
I can't imagine. Man. I, there's something that my wife brings to the table that yep. I'm not designed to bring. Yep. Yes. Yep. It's like, there's a way. Like, I literally think, like, I'm new school, intuitive dad. I have deep conversations with my daughter. Mm. And I'm like, I didn't know. I didn't did it. I don't know what you're going to yeah. do. Because I already, <laughs> right. me, I already right. just talked to her and she yep. loved her dad. So I don't know what you're going to do. I walk by my daughter's room. They in bed having girl time. And she opened up sharing stuff with my daughter that I ain't heard all day. I said, ain't that? Like, what? You, you, there's something you that women that? bring. <laughs> so there's you... a way that my wife can hold my son yep. that I can't. No way. Right. That after he's got done playing outside, when he lays on her, he feels something different yes. than comfort. what I provide. Yeah, yeah wow. Yeah. I just want to thank every mother mm-hmm. for being the difference. Yeah, for yeah. being a difference maker mm-hmm. for all the roles that you play, and our commitment is to make sure that we sit back and listen, mm-hmm. that we can be the best men and fathers that we can be, to show you the honor, the love, the respect, and the admiration yes. you yeah. deserve. Yeah. So, on behalf of every man in this room, every man at the Rock Church, we sincerely want to say. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day, Happy yeah. Mother's yes. Day. Happy Mother's Day to the women. Listen, today was unorthodox, intentionally. Mm-hmm. At the Rock Church, we value relationship. We value family. We just believe if we got healthy singles, we're going to make healthy marriages. Yes. If we got healthy marriages, then we're going to have healthy families. If we got healthy families, we're going to have a healthy church. Mm-hmm. We have a healthy church, healthy kingdom of God, and we'll turn the whole world upside down. Mm-hmm. If there's anybody who's watching today and maybe your mother has gone on to be with the Lord. Mm. And, and dad, I know I'm in altar call, but grandma was a part of my spiritual formation. So I want you to take a moment and speak to people who are watching right now mm-hmm. who are celebrating Mother's Day. But their mother is not here physically any, any mm-hmm. longer. Speak to that piece for me. I tell you, when you have a praying mother, it's unbelievable. My mother loved the Lord, mm-hmm. and she wanted her whole family to love the Lord. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So she walked close to God. Mm-hmm. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She walked so close to him that I wasn't even in the church. Mm-hmm. I was around the church. Mm -hmm. And do you know what I found myself doing? I got on my knees and I said, Lord, Mm -hmm. please take my mom and accept her as she is. Mm -hmm. I'm not even saved. I'm asking God to bless my mom. Mm -hmm. Because what she did, the life she had lived, Mm -hmm. it had rubbed off on me. Mm -hmm. I knew I wasn't no good. Mm -hmm. But I didn't want her, for any reason, to miss it, make it heaven. So, Lord, just because of what she's done, what she's done to, for our family, yeah. mm-hmm. please, if I'm lost, just take her. Mm-hmm. And as a result of her prayers the same month that my mom left this earth, oh, mm-hmm. she left mm-hmm. January 1st, 1986. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. January 26th, my wife was filled with the Holy Ghost. Mm. Mm. January 27th, her son, me, Mm. was filled with the Holy Ghost. Mm. My mom's gone. For weeks, I'm walking around like a zombie Mm. because because my best friend has left. Mm. Mm. But her prayers were answered. Mm. She Mm. didn't see it. Mm. But she believed mm. it. Mm. And here's living proof. Mm. Wow. Yeah. And not only that, look at her grandson. Mm. Mm. Wow. So if you are praying, Mom, and you walk in the walk, mm. Mm. God will answer your prayer. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So keep on, don't stop praying. Mm. Mm. Yes. <laughs> and you'll hear from him. Mm. Mm. If there's wow. anybody who's watching right now, and you've not been baptized in Jesus' name, and you haven't been filled with the gift of the Holy Spirit, yes. you just heard a testimony wow. of how when my dad's mom, my grandmother was taken away, within 21 days, our family 
experience salvation. Mm. Mm. That gift is available. The Bible says, the day you hear my voice, hard and not your sure heart, will you please type, grow into the comments. Mm. Yes. A lot of us here who are watching are here as a result of a praying grandmother, mm. a praying mother. Yes. I yes. want to encourage every praying mother, every praying grandmother, that your prayers have been heard. We yes. believe God Thank for the you, salvation Jesus. of your family and your children and their children, as it is declared in Acts yes, chapter Lord. 2, verse 39, for the promises unto you and to all who are far off, even as many as the Lord our God shall call. I'm ready to baptize some people in Jesus' yes. name. I'm yeah. literally having yeah. baptism withdrawals. Good, I'm good. ready for God uh -huh. to trouble the waters and fill people with the power of the Holy Spirit. That is our prayer. Yes. As a matter of fact, everybody who's watching right now, point your hand toward the screen. Father, in the name of Jesus, we yes, thank you for every soul. We thank you for every mother. God, I pray, Lord, that you will baptize daily such as should be saved. God, you are coming back so soon. God, everything we do at The Rock is intended with the design of people experiencing salvation and having their lives transformed. Anybody who's nervous or apprehensive, God, let them know you died to give them this gift of salvation. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Let them know that it's already been paid for, that all they have to do is receive it. Yes. God, bless every word that was heard, every Hannah who's watching, who's under pressure. Let them know that you are sending a blessing through them that's going to change the entire world. We yes, honor you. You in Jesus name. In Jesus name. Amen. 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 Oh man. David, you you open up the doors of the church. You you one of the latest members who came yes. in a pandemic. So if there's anybody who's watching who needs a church home, what you going to tell them? Man, uh, this the most welcoming place I have been to. I, I uh, when I came I didn't even know what I was coming to. Mm. I just know that I came to a place that had love, man, uh, that taught the word, mm. you know, that let you be yourself. And, and if, you, if you want somewhere to come where you can be yourself, you can get taught the word and the love amongst everybody. Come to the Rock Church. Mm. Yes. 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 Come on. Yes. 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 And I want to encourage every member who God is sending us virtually, like, we, uh, we, we need to get a rock map, literally, mm -hmm. and put dots for all the states yeah. that are starting to happen yeah. right now. Like, David lives in Sacramento, and he pulls up wherever our events mm -hmm. are, and I want you to jump in the way David did. Mm -hmm. Like, he didn't have any trepidation, jumps in. Every Men's Monday, <laughs> Rock Recharge, everything, you name it, we want to welcome all of our new members. I am so yes, excited. Yes, yes, text, yes. text 925 233 0174 to join the Rock Church. Let's go crazy for the new members. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, next week, this time, I don't know what I'm going to do because Revival has been insane thus far. And next mm. week's going to be the grand finale. Mm. Wow. I don't think you all know what's about to happen. Pastor Mike McClure Jr. is one of the most powerful, <laughs> prolific preachers in the country. His music accolades get all the shine. You know the song mm. Big? And, gonna and be it's going to be mm. Big. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> like, yeah. I, I, like, like a whole year. That's the song of 2020 easily. Um, stellar Award, all kind of stuff. Uh, but... The, what he's doing in Birmingham is nothing short of phenomenal. Mm -hmm. I, their church literally pre-pandemic was meeting in the Boutwell Auditorium. Thousands of people would assemble mm -hmm. weekly. He agreed. Honestly, that, this was my long shot. I was like, Lord, let's just put it out there. He said, I would love to be a part. So next week is going to wow. be the grand finale. Wow. Pastor Mike McClure Jr. will be right here with The Rock. Stay tuned. Don't turn the channel. Watch Rock Recap. I love Rock Recap. Mm. Like, yeah, literally, yeah, yeah. just the hanging out yeah, in the flow. Yeah. Watch it on the way to brunch. Watch it on the way to brunch. It's going to be incredible. Mm -hmm. 3 o'clock, YLC TV. We are, we, we might re-air this. It's Mother's Day. <laughs> we might do this. We'll, we'll make DeMondre work harder. We might do this. It's going to be incredible. <laughs> we are super excited. Thank you all for spending your Mother's Day with us. Mm -hmm. Until next time. May God bless you. We thank you. Father, in the name of Jesus, bless us, cover us. Let no event transpire. Cover us with your blood. God, give us peace that passes all understanding. God, thank you for the gift of motherhood. We celebrate every mother. We honor them. In Jesus' name we pray. Jesus, Jesus Amen. 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 I pray that something that was said from the transparency of my guys, that you understand that women, 
you are necessary. You are game changers. Mm. We honor you. We celebrate you today. Listen, if if today's broadcast added value to you, if it blessed you, I want you to feed what feeds you. Like literally, we got people in our church <laughs> who will cash at me and they'll put in the comment, feed what feeds you. Like they're tithers, they give their offering, but they bless what feeds them. I want to encourage you to embrace that principle. Like consider sowing a seed of $20, $50, whatever you do, it helps mm. us advance the gospel and experience platforms such as these that we're on today. Mm. Listen, we love you. Spirit and Truth is coming up next with Elder Mark Moore Jr. Thank you for rocking with us.